If you like this content please subscribe, like, and share. It really helps the channel. Now the true story of Deja Vu. Deja Vu is a phenomenon that has puzzled humans for centuries. The term, which translates from French to already seen, refers to the feeling of having experienced a situation or place before, even though it is new and unfamiliar. Scientists have been studying deja vu for decades, and while there is still much to learn about this strange experience, they have made significant progress in understanding its underlying mechanisms. To understand deja vu, it is helpful to first understand how the brain processes and stores memories. Memories are not stored in a single location in the brain, but rather are distributed across multiple regions. The hippocampus, a small structure located deep within the brain, is responsible for forming new memories and consolidating them into long-term storage. The temporal lobes, which are located on either side of the brain, are also involved in memory formation and retrieval. When we encounter a new situation, our brain processes the information and stores it in memory. The next time we encounter a similar situation, our brain retrieves the memory and compares it to the new information, allowing us to recognize the similarities and differences between the two experiences. Deja vu occurs when there is a mismatch between the information being processed by the brain and the memories that are being retrieved. In other words, the brain is receiving new information that seems familiar, even though it has not been encountered before. This creates the feeling of having experienced the situation before, even though it is new and unfamiliar. There are several theories about what causes deja vu. One theory suggests that deja vu occurs when there is a delay or disruption in the brain's processing of information. This delay or disruption can cause the brain to retrieve memories from a previous situation that is similar to the current situation, creating the feeling of deja vu. Another theory suggests that deja vu is caused by a mismatch between the two hemispheres of the brain. The left hemisphere of the brain is responsible for processing familiar information, while the right hemisphere is responsible for processing novel information. If there is a delay or disruption in the communication between the two hemispheres, the brain may perceive novel information as familiar, leading to the feeling of deja vu. Yet another theory suggests that deja vu is caused by a glitch in the brain's memory retrieval process. When we retrieve a memory, we also retrieve the context in which the memory was formed. If the brain mistakenly retrieves the context from a previous situation and applies it to the current situation, it can create the feeling of deja vu. While scientists have made progress in understanding the underlying mechanisms of deja vu, there is still much to learn about this strange experience. For example, it is not yet clear why some people experience deja vu more frequently than others, or why certain situations are more likely to trigger deja vu. Despite these unanswered questions, the study of deja vu has shed light on the complex workings of the brain and the nature of memory. By unraveling the mysteries of this strange phenomenon, scientists are gaining new insights into the mechanisms that underlie our perception of the world around us, and are paving the way for new discoveries in the field of neuroscience. One interesting avenue of research on deja vu is its potential relationship to other cognitive phenomena, such as memory distortion and false memories. Memory distortion occurs when our memories of a particular event become distorted over time, often as a result of the way in which we recall them. False memories, on the other hand, are memories of events that never actually occurred. Some researchers have suggested that deja vu may be related to these types of memory distortions, as it involves a feeling of familiarity with a situation that is actually novel. It is possible that the brain is retrieving memories that are similar to the current situation, but not exactly the same leading to the feeling of familiarity but also a sense of uncertainty. Other researchers have explored the role of emotion in the experience of deja vu. Some studies have suggested that deja vu is more likely to occur in situations that are emotionally charged, such as during moments of high stress or anxiety. This may be because the brain is more likely to form strong memories in these situations, and is therefore more likely to retrieve them in the future. Interestingly, some studies have also found that individuals who experience deja vu more frequently tend to score higher on measures of creativity and imagination. This suggests that there may be a link between the ability to generate novel ideas and the brain's ability to retrieve and process memories in unusual ways. While deja vu may be a fascinating phenomenon to study, it is also important to note that it can sometimes be a symptom of an underlying medical condition. In some cases, deja vu may be a sign of epilepsy or other neurological disorders, particularly when it occurs frequently or is accompanied by other symptoms such as seizures or hallucinations. 
The study of déjà vu continues to be an intriguing and complex area of research for scientists and psychologists. By unraveling the mysteries of this strange experience, researchers are gaining new insights into the workings of the human brain and the nature of memory, and are paving the way for new discoveries in the field of neuroscience. One famous example of déjà vu occurred in the life of the French author and poet Marcel Proust. Proust described a vivid experience of déjà vu in his literary work In Search of Lost Time, which is considered one of the greatest literary works of the 20th century. In the novel, the narrator dips a madeleine cake into a cup of tea, which triggers a sudden and intense feeling of familiarity and déjà vu. The narrator experiences a flood of memories from his childhood, which he had long forgotten, and is transported back in time to a different era. This passage has become one of the most famous examples of déjà vu in literature, and is often cited as a powerful portrayal of the experience. Proust's vivid description of the sensation of déjà vu, and its ability to transport the mind to a different time and place, has captured the imagination of readers and inspired countless works of art and literature. One area of research that has recently gained attention is the potential role of memory retrieval errors in déjà vu. According to this theory, déjà vu occurs when the brain mistakenly retrieves a memory that is similar to the current situation, but not exactly the same. This may happen because the brain is retrieving a memory that is stored in a different context, or because the current situation is similar to multiple past experiences. Recent studies have shown that the brain regions involved in memory retrieval, such as the hippocampus and the medial temporal lobe, may be particularly active during déjà vu experiences. Researchers have also found that individuals who experience déjà vu more frequently tend to have larger and more active hippocampi, suggesting that this region of the brain may play a key role in the phenomenon. One challenge in studying déjà vu is that it is difficult to induce in a laboratory setting, as it tends to occur spontaneously and unpredictably. However, researchers have developed various methods for eliciting déjà vu, such as presenting participants with words or images that are similar to previously presented stimuli. Another area of research on déjà vu has focused on its potential relationship to other cognitive phenomena, such as precognition and paranormal experiences. While there is no scientific evidence to support the idea that déjà vu is related to supernatural or psychic phenomena, some individuals have reported experiencing déjà vu in the context of paranormal experiences, such as seeing ghosts or encountering otherworldly entities. It is important to note that these reports are anecdotal and have not been scientifically verified, and that the vast majority of déjà vu experiences are not related to paranormal or supernatural phenomena. In conclusion, while there is still much to learn about the nature and underlying mechanisms of déjà vu, researchers have made significant progress in understanding this intriguing and complex phenomenon. By exploring the relationship between memory retrieval errors, emotion, creativity, and other cognitive factors, scientists are gaining new insights into the workings of the human brain and the nature of memory, 